What's good, guys? It's your boy Black Lightning forty five forty seven with Will Prince Alarms. And today I present to you Long Weighted System Test twenty seven with very oh. <laughs> with very big surprises. Okay, um, so first let's go over the devices. Um, so right here we still have the Simplex forty two fifty one on twenty. And then up here, we have my Wheelock E70 24 1575W speaker strobe. Um, we still have the voice evac set up. Um, my still my home my voice evac panel. Now, in my room, I got this. <laughs> now, this is a smoke detector. But just look at the way how it's pulling. Yes, I said pulling. So what could be going on? This is a FX PD smoke detector. So, yeah, we got that. Oh, it's paper mache. You said what, Will? It said psych no, it's paper mache. He just says paper mache. All right, then let's go outside. Oh, you can see that speaker strobe right there. All right, right here I have my Amsico speaker strobe. I believe is SS S eight seventy five R, if I'm not mistaken. Well, we just call it the Amsico. But yeah, it's it's an Amsico it's an Amsico speaker strobe. But just look how it looks on this Willock SBB bag box. It's like it's perfect. It fits perfectly on there. It's so sexy. Um, stuff for real. Um, Except for the weather those look nice on there. Yeah, right here we have my um, Merton uh, 7333 uh, 0U um, pull station. Very small pull station. It's like a equivalent to an EST Genesis. That's how small this pull station is. And then up here for the smoke detector out here we have ooh <laughs> another FX PD smoke detector. Um so you saw how the LED blinked. Um like I said, this smoke is uh detector is pulling. And so I wonder why the LED was blinking like that. I wonder. So Will should we pull the Mertone or the Simplex pull station first? I'm gonna be nice and say the Mertone so you don't gotta walk through over there. Alright. If you have epilepsy, do not watch this portion of the video. Um, I have a custom voice evac message that I sandwiched together, so we'll see how it does. So, in three, two, one. Then let's go up in here. Do you see how the piezo is sounding? Okay. In three, two, one. Yes, that is right, you guys. The Th this is my new um, G uh, General yeah, General Electric um, Security FX sixty four RD addressable panel fire alarm panel, and this is actually my boy's Will's panel that I bought off of him for a very good deal. Yeah. Finally moved to where I actually wanted the 9200 to originally be. So, the system is addressable. 
but I still can have um, conventional pull stations because of this module right here. As you can see, it's blinking red. This is the FX uh, IDC 2B. It is a um, a, a basically a conventional um, module for open, normally open. Um, what's it called? Uh, devices such as pole stations and heat detectors, but you cannot put smoke detectors on it. Though you have to get a separate, different uh, module if you want to have conventional smoke detectors. The voice evac panel is connected to the E um, R L Y module that's actually wills this I bought off of eBay but um yeah so as you can see we have alarm active loop one device five by bathroom pull um so that's what it's called so let's go ahead and grab this flathead screwdriver I'm gonna go ahead and do my thing will while you watch the E70 you gotta stick it in there like that so kind of a weird pull station, how it resets. Pull it out. And it's reset like that. And they're not synchronized, obviously. But, um... The fact that you have a self-syncing power supply. Yes, uh, I don't have it on a sync mod, uh, protocol or anything, but... Yeah. Um, so let's go ahead and hit reset. As you can see, it's resetting because it blinks reset periodically right here. You left, see? Um, that's one thing I had to get used to. It's not like the 5ED where everything lights up and the LCD goes black and all that. It just blinks reset in that corner. And there he goes. So that was one thing. It was whole... Well, the lamp test is like this. Yeah, I know. So, <laughs> um, I did that before. I did it with Jack. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and test this. Um, forty-two fifty-one dash twenty. And we're gonna just go ahead and reset it. And you get the jizz. Let's go ahead and reset it again. I could I could have just activated it while I was talking to you guys and then reset it, but you know your boy. You know, it's co sometimes complicated. You know, making simple things complicated sometimes. So you know how I roll. Sometimes it just be like that. It really be like that sometimes. There it goes. But um. So yeah, by the way, these speakers strobes are set on 2 watts, but obviously they're still not loud. Um, just with this type of power supply I have. Where'd I put my keys at? Oh. But, um, yeah. So there you guys have it. Come on, focus. Um, so yeah. So, that's System test 27. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this new system test and the new surprise. Um, now, you guys are probably wondering where the 5UD went. Um, that's that's another surprise. Um, it could be somewhere around this room. You know, you never know. But um, without further ado, yeah, that's about that's about it. That's a wrap up. As you can see, we can we still have the same power supply. It works fine with this panel, and it really works fine with any type of panel, to be honest. But yeah, well, that's kind of the, well, not all panels, but yeah, it's but supposed to, but sometimes they don't. I can tell you that one from experience. Yeah, but um, yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this system test. It's your boy Black Lightning with. And me out this piece.